Why, my name is Simon Fitzmorris. Don't be put off by my serious expression. I'm talking to you from the inside, where I smile quite a lot. Having motor neuron disease means I cannot do many things anymore but I still have my writing, my filmmaking, I still have a voice. We don't choose what moves us, what drives us, it chooses us. Just like MND chose me. This is what I use to sound like. As a teenager I wrote out of a, a kind of a need to write, just to, as an expression. So you like doing essays for example in school, that kind of stuff? Well no, not so much. I was more into poetry in, in, in my teenage years and got into short fiction then, just as a, a further expression. It always struck me that he had a beautiful sense of the human spirit and always in his writing he um, evokes a, a sense of hopefulness about the human spirit that you don't often see. It's something very unique. There are moments in your life that stay with you forever. Times you return to again and again. The day that I die will be the end of all moments. Today is not that day. In 2008, my short film, The Sound of People, was officially selected for Robert Redford's Sundance Film Festival. My wife Ruth was pregnant with our third child. We were happy. Then a short time later, I was diagnosed with MND and my life was changed forever. Since I've had MND, I've written a feature film with the support of the Irish Film Board. I began writing it with my hands on a keyboard and I finished writing it with my eyes using an iGaze computer. My name is Emily is a story told from the perspective of a teenage girl, Emily, who runs away from her foster home on her 16th birthday. And with the help of the boy who loves her, she goes in search of her father, a visionary writer locked up in a psychiatric institution. And along the way, they fall in love. I've found two great co-producers, Catherine Kennedy and Leslie McKim. The script for My Name is Emily came to me a year and a half ago, and when I read it, I fell in love with it straight away. When I met Simon Fitzmaurice, I knew I had to make the project. He's an inspirational and unique individual, an amazing talent, and somebody that I've, in the past year and a half, has been a joy to work with. Hi, I'm Leslie from Newgrange. I run the company with uh, fellow producer Jackie Larkin. We make feature films and TV dramas and documentaries. We came on board about a year ago, loved the script immediately and Simon's shorts. Uh, he's a very talented director and we really wanted to help this happen. So we've been working away in the finance. We've a lot of partners on board, the Irish Film Board, Swedish co-producers, and that's going well, but it's a very long road and there are gaps in the finance. And one of the aspects of this is how to enable Simon in his condition to, to be on set directing. And that really requires more time and more facilities. And so that's why we've come to you and to Indiegogo to help raise finance to make the film happen and to allow Simon to direct the film. For Simon to come to work every day, he needs things like proper transportation, carers, batteries on standby. And then along with that, we also have extra crew hours, uh, longer shoot times, longer rehearsal times to enable Simon to achieve this film. So if you, anything at all that you can give will go towards this project. There is a certain sickness to always wanting a happy ending. If the desire for it is driven by a fear of seeing things as they are. But there is another impulse, much deeper than fear. The will to live. To live with the sadness, loss and love that is life. To navigate it. To not give up. That is Emily's story. This is a story of redemption. Thank you for your support.